Okay, what I'm going to talk about here are audio ringouts. Uh, when we don't want a piece of audio, uh, usually music uh, to cut off and come to a dead stop, but we want some reverb at the end. So here I've got my favorite footage from good old edit stock. Highly recommend aspiring editors go check it out. Uh, best way to learn is to do, and they let you do it. So I've slapped a Beastie Boys track on this because that's just what I do. And it cuts out at the very end here pretty nicely. Uh, but what if I wanted a little reverb? It's a common move, and uh, the way Avid and a lot of people tell you uh, to do it is to find your last bit of uh, your, your last hit here and create a mix down. and apply the deverb effect to that mix down clip. And then you dial in uh, that reverb using preview uh, and then render the effect. And you've got it. And this is the way I used to do it. Um, and sometimes I still will, but I, I found it irritating to make this extra piece of media and since everything is baked into the mix down, you have to jump through all these little hoops again uh, if you want to re-edit the music or change the cue. Um, and I, I found that I use reverb for one thing or another on just about everything I work on. So once Avid began supporting these RTAS um, plugins on tracks, um, I decided I'd just make a dedicated reverb track that I would carry um, on my standard track setup for my projects. So I'll have a reverb track for dialogue and I'll have a reverb track for effects and one for music. The advantage of, uh, of doing this is that most of the time I don't have uh, any need to do a mix down and I can better preview the effect in real time uh, without having to render it. I'm not claiming this is uh, a new idea or anything, um, but I haven't seen uh, Avid promoting uh, this, this method of, of doing a ring out. If for some reason I want a different quality reverb on the track, I can alter that and then bake it into a mix down um, similarly to, to the normal way of doing this so I don't have to carry an additional track uh, just for one instance of the tailored effect. So if I really wanted to go crazy here and have some gigantic cavernous reverb, I'd put on a different RTAS uh, setting. And then I'd mix it down. Um, nine times out of ten though, I, I find that sort of finding this default setting is decent for the majority of uses. And why Avid can have real-time uh, reverb and other effects on a track basis, but not on a clip basis, I, I don't understand, but there it is. It's a limitation right now. And that's it, a way to do faster audio ringouts with better preview and a little less mixing down. Thanks.